Good afternoon to all the students of class 3. Beta, the app, the second last chapter of your syllabus. After that, only one chapter is left. So please pay attention. You need to note down the characters firstly. So please, uh, those who are having book, they can write down the book. And those who are not having the book, please bring it. It's a request. Really, I am just giving the reminder of the group for you. The characters, the very first character is uh, Oliver Lutkins. Oliver Lutkins, if you are the one who comes in, the only teacher who speaks. Right now, when I ask you, you should tell me. Oliver Lutkins is the protagonist. Yes, girls. And he is the that cunning character of the story who is actually going to play two roles. Right? He is very smart enough and he will be impersonating. What do you mean by impersonating? When we play some other character, he will be hiding his true identity. What is the reason of that? That we will read in the chapter. So, Oliver Lutkins, Aka Bill means he is Bill as well as Oliver Lutkins. Yeah? So, whenever these two characters will come, do not get confused. Okay? Yeah? Bill and Oliver Lutkins are same. But he will be impersonating. And protagonist means main character of the story. Yeah. Second character is narrator himself. These two are the prominent characters. These two characters that child will be able to understand the story. Okay. So who is the narrator in the story? Narrator is actually a lawyer by profession. Right? There is some tough vocabulary in this chapter if you understand. This is the word and write someone you might have heard of the someone. What do you mean by someone? Firstly, someone is when uh, it is a you can say a paper or written document sent to a person, fine, to be present at folks or to be present at the police station or to be present at a particular date and time. Fine, you might have heard that cases are going on, court may boss and cases are And many people got the summon because reason of the summon can be anything. Suppose they are playing the eyewitness of that case. You are the eyewitness, you have to be there. Okay, please touch pay attention here. I am concerned about your learning last few days of learning and In 28th, when you are having very first exam, day she is already something. Be curious, give your best in this month if you really want to touch your mark. Right? So, lawyer is there, and even narrator does not like to get or uh, to perform this duty. And usually, he gets this duty from the post that he has to send summons to someone. Find here a summons. And he has to bring that person to the post. Find who is the duty here. To bring that eyewitness over there. Now, the storyline is Oliver Lutkins is demanded in one case as an eyewitness. Right? So they needed his presence. They have written n number of letters to him already. Right? To be present in the courts. But he has not responded to any of the letters. So he's very cunning creature, very clever and smart. So Oliver Lutkins has not responded to any of the letters of the courts or summons, right? He has discarded it and he is vanished. He has gone to an unknown place, but they got to know that he has gone to a place, right? And he goes over there. Who will be going later that lawyer? He will be going to search Oliver Lutkins in his village, in his place. And there he meets a hack driver. What do you mean by the word hack driver? Those who drive cars for the sake of earning. Jo cab drivers hoke. Right? You can call them hack drivers. Means driving is their business. They earn money out of driving. 
and guiding people as well. You go to different cities, we get tourist guides. Sometimes we get drivers. But half driver is the person who has knowledge of both, who drives the car as well as who tells the people about various famous places also. Clear? So in this half driver, who is half driver now? Friend. Here, when the narrator will going to catch Oliver Atkins in his village or in his place, that you know he's demanded, he will land in this area, right? And then he starts searching, and he meets a half driver over there. Actually, he is the person who is searching for. Is he going to move But you know, he's very clever. He will impersonate his character as Bill. Yeah. Here, his real name is. Oliver Atkins, but he's going to perform the role of Bill as half driver. Okay, and how he will be befooling the narrator throughout the story. He will be visiting with him in the car, and he will be showing, okay, here we are going to be cutting. And he will show that Bill, who will half driver, he will be saying that, you know, I know Atkins very well, he's very famous, he has missed money from many places. And he is known for, you know, looting money from people. Just this regard, where he goes, Oliver goes, and he will take it with him. So he will be taking him. Okay, let's go to the barber shop. Let Let's go to that cafe. Oh my God, we missed it. For for two only two minutes, he was there only. And the narrator is very gullible. Gullible means he is very innocent. Who comes into the talks of others? So you should know uh, this this words as well. So he's gullible. He's innocent. He came into the talks of uh, Bill very easily. Usko lagta ki ye, you know, sachi bol hai. But as you know that, uh, so what is the theme of this chapter? I have told you one hint as well. Anybody can extract that? Well, ye ko theme tha. In necklace also, we have been saying appearances are deceptive. We go for the word, but Ryan has got it. Appearances are this actually means what we uh, what people look they are actually not the same okay so theme of this chapter is appearances are deceptive and second theme is cunningness of the people means cleverness cunningness of the people okay that how clever they are or how cunning they are uh, that we can see in this chapter. That how they befool the innocent people, uh, people, right? So cunningness of the people can be seen. That how they befool the innocent people. But I'm not going to tell you the end of the story. Find right? what is going to happen. Whether the dishonesty wins or the honest and gullible and innocent narrator's efforts will win. That is to be seen. Because there was twist in the story last day as well. In the Nantes are very interesting this story as well. So, what, is it clear to all women children as well? Introduction is clear. Because the introduction is clear, and then I will be speeding the, up the pace. Fine. So, I am going to share the screen now. I think I can speak simply please. The hair driver, a young lawyer, comes to a village to serve summons. Please, please, I'm just for the last time I'm doing the work. Right? A young lawyer comes to the village to serve summons on Oliver Lutkins, a friendly hair driver, takes him down to the village. In search of Lutkins, does he find him who is Lutkins? That is the big scene in this case. But before that, after graduating with honors, <coughs> after graduating with honors, I became a junior assistant clerk. Underline this is the, you can say, degree of narrator that he has done graduation with honors. He became junior assistant clerk in a magnificent law firm. So he is a lawyer, no doubt, but he is junior assistant clerk, right? He's not that well established lawyer who is sitting over there and not working. So he that's why he goes to search and call for 
I was sent not to prepare legal fees, but to serve summons. So he's we send up we want send up send up we want that's it. No, it's your which how you speak in the class. As if the so some of the uh, I had to go to dirty and shadowy corners. So lawyer is discussing with us of how he goes to filthy and uh, places sometimes which he does not like at all. He has to go to uh, you can say to shadowy corners of the city to seek out my victims. Okay. For the victims, the Gia stand up, stand up. Please change your seat. Go there to have some The continuously talking. Please change your seat. Go to have some lunch. You should know that why we are here in the class. You get up from here. Oh, please get up. Let me you know, see this yeah. sitting plan first. Then I will come to you. Get up. I'm not saying you have done something, I'm saying no, it's a lot and so. Sit down now. Now I see that what, what is the okay? Let's check. The reality check is that you name others, how you behave yourself, that is the routine now. Fine? I remove your distraction. Let's see now how passive you become. So some of the larger and more self-confident ones even beat me up. Narrator, that lawyer. He is telling us that he does not like the business of calling someone because when he goes, people sometimes beat him. Right? He does not like it that he is insulted at many places. He does not like the job of going places and finding the, that culprit or victim. I hated this unpleasant work and side of the city it revealed to me. I hated this. Uh, I even considered. I will stop when I find one, okay? And separately, names will be highlighted to the parents group today. Wait and watch for today's reactions, okay? When I could have been a real lawyer right away, without going through this unpleasant training period, so he had not to escape this thing, he had to undergo this. Okay? Very bad experiences that he has to find the victims and he has to call them for the summons. Clear? Narrator, lawyer does not like the job of bringing people to serve the summons. Clear as a book? So I rejoice to one day. So uh, he was happy. That they sent me out 40 miles in the country to a town called New Malian. Please, New Malian, go under and train. So, New Malian is the place where Oliver Lutkins lives. Okay. So, he went to a village, a town, not village, it was a town, New Malian, to serve someone to a man called Oliver Lutkins. We needed this man as a witness in the law case and he had ignored all our letters. So, he kept on ignoring. The letters are sent by by uh, authorities and uh, he never attended that summons. When I got to New Malian, my eager expectations of a sweet and simple country village were severely disappointed. Why the reader became disappointed? Let me tell you that. Its streets were rivers of mud with rows of Wooden shops, either painted in salt brown or bare of any paint at all. So that is the scene over there. He was disappointed. A mud could be seen, very filthy place, rows of wooden shops, very dull brown color or without any paint. But only agreeable sight about the place was the delivery man at the station. He was about 40, red faced, with cheerful, underlying the factors which thick about the middle, whose dirty clothes were dirty and well worn. And he had a friendly manner. You felt at once that he liked people. I want, I told him to find a man named Oliver. 
when he boarded, uh, when he reached the station of New Police, the narrator is very innocent. He should not have, you know, informed to the people that why he is there. And the moment he got at the station, he announced it to one of the persons who were there. He met him after calling a letter for whom they are. That was the mistake he committed. Right? He should not have informed. Left hands, next page. I saw him around, now see. Yeah, I was. I narrated with a uh, deaf warrior. Lakhir, I saw him around here about an hour ago. Actually, the person he met, unluckily, uh, at there, he was uh, Lakhir himself, and he is going to play the role of Vilna and the half driver, right? I saw him around here about an hour ago. He was in the car one hour ago. Hard fellow to catch him. It is very difficult to catch him. Always up to something or the other. He is probably trying to start up a poker game in the back of the shop. I will tell you, boy, is there any hurry about looking to the place? He is so smart and cunning. The moment he gets to know that this lawyer has named his money only, so the identity changed everything. He said, I don't want to interfere 
young fellow, but my guess is that you want to collect some more information. Agla question kya puchhe? First question he asked that how much time you have, na? That you got idea to go back to the cave. Okay, so it's kind of extra time waste for you. So then you have to go there. Fine. Second question he asked, I don't want to interfere with young fellow, but my guess is that you want to collect some money from that thing. Why? He's asking the purpose of taking that thing. He never pays anybody a cent. He still owes me 50 cents on a poker game. I was fool enough to play. So, Bill is saying, though in person it is in there, okay, that he may never say 50 cents in there. He never took a cent in there. So, why you are finding him? He's not really bad, but it's hard to make him part with his money. If you try to collect from him in those kinds of clothes, he will be suspicious and get away from you. So, this advice he gave to the manager. You are wearing you know, very good a dress, a lawyer's dress, a suit and all. And if you will find you have killed in this dress, he will have you know run away from you and will not give you any money. If you want, I will go into fields and ask for him, and he can keep out of sight behind me. So you you know keep yourself at hidden place. I will go at fields if it's a shop and not over the other carrot you duck out there. So I will ask you in your place. I love him. Narrator thought he got an idea of you know, this man is helping me and giving me advice as well. By myself, I might never have found that thing. And all along, I will never be able to find that thing. With the hat, I was knowing the help, I was sure of getting money. I took him into my confidence and told him that I wanted to serve the someone's on it. So, that why this man is there, that he has to uh, actually summon on the things for all. I told you a meaning of summons that he has to be present in front of the courts for a case. So, purpose because the lucky that the man had refused to be a witness. A meeting with RBI lawyer, that man, you know, Oliver Lutkins, has refused to be the eyewitness. And when his information would have quickly settled our case, the driver listened earnestly. At the end, he hit me on the shoulder and laughed. Well, we will give Brother Lutkins a little surprise. <coughs> so, Bill, that driver is saying, I'm surprised they can So, let's start, driver. Most folks around here call me Bill or Magnuson. He used to fake name then. So, he's saying, that people call me Bill or Madison. My business is called William Madison Fancy Parting and Hacking. Right? That I have my own part, the wheels, and, and I am into hacking. And hacking is not look so correct. Otherwise, it's quite wrong. All right, Bill, shall we proceed to Fritz? So, lawyer very particular in reaching to Fritz. Are you serving him? Please listen to the teacher. Yes, let me is just as likely to be there as any day. Plays a lot of poker. So he starts narrating what sort of a chap is like. He says, Go poker till there. He's good at deceiving people, cheating people, deceiving him to cheat. Bill seems to admire Lutkin's talent of for dishonesty. I felt that if he had been a policeman, he would have caught Lutkin respectfully and gave him the good work. He is narrating the traits of Oliver or very respect his You know, he's very clever, he's not bragging in so he's like this and that. So now, lawyer is thinking that he had been the policeman, and he will go at the other end. He's very respectful, he's not a killer. So, how respectful he is towards that Oliver the case. Then, <coughs> Bill led me into Fritz. A Fritz comes with him. Have you seen Oliver and Phil around today? Friend of his looking for him, said Phil cheerily. Fritz looked at me, hiding behind Bill. He hesitated and then admitted, Yes, he was in here a little while ago. Yes, he has gone over to Custer's to get his shape. Uh, this is a person attended over there one day. He's also a friend of Bill and Bill and Bill. He's a friend of and now he has gone to the bus stops to get a shape. Bus stops is the barber's shop. 
Clear? Please underline. Gustav is the barber. So that's why he is brought there to get a shave. Well, if he comes in, tell him I'm looking for him. We talk to Gustav's barber shop. Again, we'll find him first. For one, he will be out there. And I lingered at the door. Lawyer should, you know, be smart enough. The lawyer is not smart. He is keeping will add priority and his himself at secondary place. So this is you should be smart enough in perceiving people with the issues. The Swede had more speaking Swedish person. He said angrily, I have not seen him and don't care to him. I don't care where is like in the north, the search will get there. But if you find it, you can just collect <coughs> that dollar twenty-five fee or me. They get to know that we have to pay money. Even the father says that even I want to get thirty-five dollars from him. Clear? Please come to the you have to tell me. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. One of the customers thought he had seen Lutkins walking down Main Street, this side of the hill. Now he is speaking of the story. Narrator comes back and tells the lawyer, you know, even Barber has to take money from him. He's so true, he's so clever. And you know, one of the customers of Barber shop, he said, Is he a baby take a Lutkins go? Right, and he has gone to the main street, this side of the hotel. To far at the street, just to waste his time. As they climbed back into the hat, Bill concluded that since Lucky had exhausted his credit at the stuff, he had probably gone to praise for a shape. Now, are we getting a chance? This barber has to take money from him. So that's why he has gone to some another barber. That is, he's underlying praise G R A Y. You should know the places. Some are lady jobs. Praise barber shop. And we missed Lutkins by only five minutes. You know, he had just left probably for the whole room. Bahar jaane ke toh 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 dia hoga ya. Abhi yehi pe ka. Please be cool ek. At the whole room, that space, it appeared that only this way we are going to finish. It appeared that he had just bought a pack of cigarettes and gone out. So we pursued him just behind him, but never catching him for an hour till it was past one o'clock. Fine. One o'clock was there, and he's hungry now. I was hungry. Later, we get so tired after going to various places. I had so enjoyed their rough country opinions about his neighbors that I scarcely cared. Whether I found that things or not, it's been enough for us to have you forgot the purpose. Then whether I have come here to relish or enjoy the place, or I have to find the that man named that things. Fine. So this story we will continue tomorrow. Okay. Um.